again from wind over water thanks for joining us uh, we're going to do another backyard boat find today here at the beautiful bay of quinty yacht club i believe this is the oldest or one of the oldest continually operated yacht clubs in north america and yacht clubs are a great place to find a, a used boat uh, today we're going to be looking at an exceptionally old one but uh in my hour here already I've managed to find three other boats that are for sale. So if you are looking for a boat, and especially something that's a good seaworthy boat, yacht clubs are a great place to look because there are so many boats and so many knowledgeable sailors. Today we're looking at a boat that I've admired for many, many years, and I would have to say it's probably the most beautiful boat in the Bay of Quinney. And that boat is a Rhodes Ranger 29. This boat did undergo a refit about 20 years ago. Her topsides, deck, mast, and boom were all painted. The striking black and tan color scheme, complemented by her tan sails, bronze fittings, and bright woodwork, make Gallivant a stunning boat to see under sail. Ranger 28 actually started as a wooden design and was selected to be an early entrant into the fiberglass boat industry. Her full keel, keel hung rudder, generous bulwarks and small cockpit make her a contender for anyone seeking a safe and stable pocket cruiser. It does appear that some work remains from her recent refit. None of the new hatch and locker covers have hinges. The ice box needs a handle. There's no pressurized water on board and there are a few wet spots on the side decks. She'll need some refinishing on her tow rail and combing teak and a bit of paint repair down below. All that said, she's a great option for a handy sailor with a tight budget. The Bay of Quinney is known for anything, it's sailing, and to say that this is probably the prettiest boat in the Bay of Quinney is saying a lot, really. Uh, she's just gorgeous when she's under sail, and even parked at the dock, I remember even years ago seeing this boat uh, after her major refit, and my goodness, what a lovely looking thing. The Rose 29 was built in Holland. She was designed by the prolific naval architect Philip Rhodes designer of the 1962 America's Cup winner, Weatherly. Construction was started in the late 50s by Gerard de Vries Lentia. He worked for uh, a boat company in Amsterdam, uh, manufacturing wooden boats in the old traditional ways, and he brought fiberglass boat construction into that yard, and this was his little project. These boats were built in the fashion of wooden boats, but out of this new fancy material called fiberglass. They didn't, again, know exactly what to do with the fiberglass. They didn't know if an inch was enough or two inches, so they just uh, made everything really thick. So what you've got is a boat that's really, really super durable, but uh, quite inexpensive. At the time as well, they were offered as a, an inexpensive alternative to a wooden boat, and um, the people who bought them 
bought them under three different brands actually. Uh, there was a Walton, uh, Walton 29, uh, one other one I forget, and of course this one. So they were bringing them into North America and branding them under their own brands. Uh, stepping down into this boat, the first thing you realize is that somebody's gone through a lot of trouble to upgrade the woodwork. And I'm seeing things like, you know, fancy little, little latches on these doors that, uh, oh, I've just locked it. You know, good heavy solid wood uh, construction. Behind me here there's some slats they put in here, a nice, nice uh, uh, wall here to put storage in behind, a little shelf. So there are some paint issues. Paint is beginning to flake off on the inside of the hull, but basically it's in really, really good condition. The old things that came with the boat initially, like the lighting, are still there, and you could change those into LEDs quite readily. It does have a very basic panel. The panel uh, appears to have, you know, sort of the basic items you're going to need. There's a battery test switch. Uh, batteries are sitting at 12 and a half right now, so they're both doing well. There's a bilge pump switch, battery chargers on board, obviously, nav instruments on board masthead light, deck lights, so there are a few things that come with this boat in a really nice little package. This looks like it's been redone. This whole bulkhead appears to be redone uh, in like a tongue and groove uh, mahogany I think it is and uh, you can see it's forward as well there's mahogany trim, there's a mahogany whisker pole that comes with it or spinnaker pole there's her boom, nice small little boom. So, so really a nice clean little classic boat that just looks amazing. I know that about 20 years ago this boat was, com was hauled into a yard at Nye Boat Works actually in Belleville and they did a complete refit on it. So paint was done, uh, decks and the top sides, interior woodwork was done. Um, I don't know how much of that was done in that yard but uh, she got a lot of work done and uh, the guy just threw all kinds of money at it and it sat out here at the Sea Cadets uh, for quite a while. Uh, the fellow was from Hamilton as I recall and he would uh, let the Sea Cadets use this boat so it has had a little bit of use but not a great deal. There's a head here. Nice V-berth. Anchor locker is open forward. Probably can put a hatch on that. There are her spreaders by the looks of it. Chain plates are all exposed down below here. Just a nice little boat. The hatches are rimmed with bronze. So they're quite lovely. Lots of lighting. that she's got a Volvo inboard. I can see the green uh, valve cover right there. Uh, they've got a few bits of wood here that need to be removed in order to have a look at it. Uh, let's do that. Galavant comes equipped with a steel cradle, pro furl roller furling, good quality tan colored sails, ground tackle, a swim ladder, four bronze winches, Dyneema lifelines, a single burner gimbal cooker, and an ice box. What she lacks in amenities, she makes up for in good looks. Time here in Canada, and 
it wouldn't be very kosher for me to uncover this boat entirely, so I'm going to show her to you under the cover. But uh, have a look down here. You can see that she's she's got some really nice classic boat features. Uh, the hatch is all nice teak and holly look to it. Bronze door aid with teak box underneath it. Nice teak hatch up forward with a bronze light in it. Should be brought inside. It's beginning to get a little damp. Oh. Talk to me.